Hey, it's Tuesday time for our video blast. Give me one second. The Lord has been working. Sunday was an awesome day. We started a new series uh, from the book of Genesis called uh, Jesus and Genesis. It's really finding portraits and pictures and, and clear uh, prophetic words even about the Lord Jesus Christ. And as far back as Genesis, when we see the plan of redemption begin with the creation and the fall of man. So it's an exciting series. It goes deep. So bring your pen and paper. Uh, if you got service with us, be online in service with us. And I do want to remind you again to take the discipline. For those of you who are members of this fellowship, have the discipline that if you are online and you're not attending the in-person service, that you attend with the church at the time that it's being shared and shown. So come be a part of that and, and don't miss out. God's really doing some awesome things, especially in this series you're going to see happen. This is going to go on for about six weeks. At the same time, it is absolutely, I'm with you. I'm in 100% in your court, frustrated with so much that's going on around us in the culture and the world today. Uh, but remember all these things that were, it's just part of where you're at and the part of the times and the seasons that we live in. I believe we're very near the return of Christ, but there's a lot that's got to happen in these last uh, days, weeks, months, and years before the Lord comes. Who knows? Uh, the most important thing you need to know, the Bible says, uh, be ready, be watching for when our master returns. We don't want to be what the Bible calls that evil servant, that evil slave. So keep your eyes open, be used by God. In fact, we're in the stages at, at our church. Um, just to let folks know in our church, as well as those who have just watched, but they're, they're parts of other fellowships, of uh, planning already for our, our, our spring, uh, our, our spring projects and our spring ministries. Uh, we've said all along, we're not about cutting back, even though, uh, there's a lot of difficulty, there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of, uh, negatives that we have to fight through and fight for in the times that we live in, the difficulties that the culture is going through. Uh, the church shouldn't back up. We should rise up and be what God's called us to be. So that's in our heart. And I met with our staff yesterday. We talked about this. We're projecting down the road about nine to 10 weeks as we get into Easter and then into Mother's Day of how we're going to reach uh, out and, and be a part of what God's called us to be, that we're not to, uh, we're going to do four services on Easter instead of two. We're going to be involved in uh, a lot of different things and projects prior to Easter to get people involved. Uh, uh, there's just a lot coming down, and we're going to be sharing all that with you in the days ahead. I meet with the elders. We're going to talk more about it again on this coming Monday night. And then as all that comes into picture and everything on my workboard back there gets into into focus, we'll we'll be sharing more with you. Because I think the real approach we should have is, is, is like we've been talking about, uh, in the book of Nehemiah, which said every man did the work in front of his house. So <laughs> we're going to be challenging you uh, to be effective, to be salt and to be light, uh, to not get comfortable and to not sit back in your easy chair and just kind of let others do what God's called each and every one of us to do. So be ready for that. Amen. Most important, we need to be faithful. Uh, God's always faithful to us. We know that. Uh, but it's easy in times of crisis and difficulty, the cultural things that are going on right now in the world, global things that sometimes get overlooked by the media because they're too focused on just central things that they like to talk about, their central targets in politics. But there's a lot happening, and we need to be faithful during these days, and we need to be a heart, have a heart for, for serving the Lord. We need to be prayerful, and I can't encourage you enough take, to set time in these days and weeks that are ahead of us to set time aside for praying for your church your pastors, the ministry, the elders, the leaders, the deacons, the lift leaders, the, just those in attendance, those who are not in attendance, that you take the time to pray for folks. This is so important. Set, set some time aside each week where you're doing that. And remember, our joy is not in, uh, in, in, in stuff, and it's not in circumstances, and it's not in having everything just come into picture the way we want it to come in. And uh, it's all about our joy is in the Lord. And if you haven't taken time today, just to step back for a second and say, hey, I love you, Lord. You are the focus of my heart and life. I would not have anything I have if it were not for you. And even, Lord, though I have faced some of the most difficult, challenging, testing, trying times, perhaps in your entire life, you thank the Lord that he has been with you every step of the way. Might not have acknowledged him every step of the way, but he has been there. So take some time to worship and to thank him and to give gratitude. You'll be surprised how God will literally change your heart, change your attitude, and even ultimately change your emotions. So God bless you. Just a short word of encouragement today to stay the course. Be faithful, be true, be prayerful, and let's be expectant of what God has for us. Your pastor loves you. God bless you today. Have an awesome Tuesday. Amen.